David here with Figboot on Pens, back again with another fountain pen review. Today I have for you a fairly new pen from Narwhal with a very unique name, and that would be the Schoolkill. Uh, what I'm going to be doing today is going over the parts and features of the Narwhal Schoolkill, talk about what I care for and what I don't care for about the pen, show some measurements, size comparisons, and provide a writing sample. Thanks go out to Narwhal for providing this pen for review and to give away to one of you. Stay tuned to learn how you can have the opportunity to make this very pen your own. If you're not familiar with the brand, Narwhal was founded back in 2019 by two gentlemen, Samuel Pang and Frank Zhang. Uh, they had met in high school and bonded over their love of fountain pens. Uh, they're now both attending college on the west coast of the United States. One of their main goals for the Narwhal brand was to produce pens which were colorful and affordable and would appeal to a younger demographic. They launched their first pen called the Piston Filler just about a year ago at the DC show. You know, back when we used to be able to go to uh, shows and discover new companies. Uh, maybe next year. Well, that first model has done very well for them and they have released a second model called the School Kill. Uh, it arrives in this simple box. I like their Narwhal logo there in gradient colors. And then inside we have the pen. Let's just set that aside. This is the Narwhal Schoolkill. Uh, Schoolkill is the name of a river in the Philadelphia, Pennsylvania region. Uh, the name is Dutch. Uh, I'm not going to attempt the Dutch pronunciation, but the people of the Pennsylvania region pronounce it Schoolkill. Uh, in a rough translation, school means hidden and kill translates to creek or river. So basically it means hidden river, which is a reference to its confluence with the Delaware River, which was uh, nearly hidden by dense vegetation back in the 1600s. While their piston filler is available in four different colors, this school kill is available in a single color, this blue. Uh, it's made from acrylic. I do care for this blue. It's very vibrant and has a great deal of chatoyance and decent variations in shades of blue as well as some blacks and silvers and grays. With this material, each pen will be unique so no two will quite be the same. Uh, let's take a look at the cap. On the end of the cap, there is a shiny metal insert, which is slightly rounded. Uh, then we have the integrated clip, which is sturdy and operates well. Uh, I feel that this was a bit of missed opportunity. I mentioned this during my review of the initial Narwhal offering, but with the company being named Narwhal, I thought it would have been really cool and interesting to have the clip in the shape of a Narwhal tusk. Maybe like a rounded, twisted design. Uh, that would be a distinctive clip that could be kind of a signature for the brand. Uh, kind of like Visconti's curved clips or most of Pelican's, which are in the shape of a Pelican's beak. Now, I understand these pens were produced with a reasonable price point as a goal, and a custom clip like that might add unwarranted extra production costs as opposed to what they're currently using, so I understand. Uh, what they are currently using works great. I just thought that a narwhal tusk clip would uh, kind of raise the cool factor of this pen and the brand as a whole. The cap angles up slightly until about the last three quarters of an inch, which are straight. Uh, there is no cap band, uh, and there is a medium-sized step down to the barrel, which tapers down at a very slight angle until we get to a rounded metal band and the piston knob. Uh, and at the end of the piston knob, it is rounded. The cap twists off with one and a quarter turn, and underneath we have a number six stainless steel nib. I believe this is a Yovo nib. Uh, I like the Narwhal logo engraved on the nib. And then here's a look at the plastic feed. The section begins with a slight flare, then angles up at a steady pace until it reaches the acrylic cap threads, which I don't find to be sharp or uncomfortable if your grip should happen to rest on them. Uh, the pen is plenty long enough to use unposted, which is a good thing because the cap is not designed to post. Now, if you really cram it on here, it will stick a little bit, but it's easily dislodged. Uh, this pen is fairly light and comfortable in the hand. The pen actually weighs the same amount as the cap does. Uh, I mentioned the piston knob. Uh, this is a piston filler. Uh, right past the threads, there is a nice ink window. I think it's a nice size for this pen. It's not too large that it dominates the look of the pen, but large enough for you to get a good look at your ink situation. 
The piston operates easily and smoothly. Um, it retracts to about this point in the pin, so it has a decent ink capacity. The Narwhal School Kill retails for $55 and is available through a number of online retailers. Uh, at the time I'm recording this review, there are several retailers currently out of stock on this pen, but I've been assured that new inventory should be arriving to them shortly, so look for them to have a higher availability here in a matter of a few days. I feel that $55 is a very reasonable price for what you receive with this pen. Uh, it's well constructed. Uh, I like the piston mechanism. Uh, and this blue material with the hints of black and silver and gray look nice. Uh, and then and the Yovo nib performs well as well. Uh, if you're looking for a pen which is kind of a small step up from some of the entry-level pens on the market, then the Narwhal School Kill would be something to definitely consider. Uh, thanks again. Go out to Narwhal for providing this pen for review and for giveaway. Uh, in regard to the giveaway, I'm going to do something a little bit different. I like to mix things up a bit with different ways to enter giveaways. Uh, to win this pen, there are four requirements, some of which you probably have already accomplished. Uh, one is to be a subscriber to this channel. Uh, two is to follow me on Instagram, where I am at figboot11. Uh, the third thing is to follow Narwhal on Instagram, where they are at, at Narwhal Pens. And fourth thing is to leave a comment on the recent Instagram post I made featuring this pen. I will put links to both Instagram profiles in the notes below this video. And there's no need to uh, tag anyone in your comment. Uh, you have 72 hours from when this video is posted in order to complete those four tasks. And the winner will be chosen at random and notified via Instagram. Good luck to everyone. I think the winner will, will be very pleased with this pen that they receive. So now it is time for some measurements, size comparisons, and a writing sample. Here we go with some size comparisons for the Narwhal School Kill. Uh, before we get started, I just wanted to give you a better look at that material. You can just see how it has a decent amount of chatoyance and uh, a real a lot of uh, variance in the color. I like that a lot. Uh, here it is in size comparison to the original Narwhal Piston Filler. Uh, it's slightly smaller, just by a couple of millimeters. Uh, here it is with a Twisby Go. And then here it is with a Lamy All-Star. In regard to some other pens, here it is with a Pilot Metropolitan. Then I have two pens that are going to be reviewed here in the fairly near future. Uh, first of all is a pen that was one of Visconti's latest releases, which is the Homo Sapiens Crystal Dream, which I'm very much looking forward to taking a closer look at that one. But then also I have one of the latest releases from Wancher, which is the Sakai Arushi. That's S-E-K-A-I Arushi. And I just love the uh, pattern on this pen. I think it really is different. And I like things that are different and unique and kind of different than anything else in my collection. And the patterning on this is definitely that. And that's what it looks like in comparison to the Narwhal. In regard to some uncap comparisons, uh, here it is with the Lamy All-Star and the Twisby Go. And then finally, the original Narwhal Piston Filler. So here we go with the writing sample for the Narwhal. And this is the school kill, which is S-C-H-U-Y-L-K-I-L-L. -L -L. And this is a fine steel nib. And right now, at least for this point in time, these pens are only available in fine. And the ink that I'm using here today is Papier Plume. Number 13. 
A few weeks ago, Papier Plume released a mystery ink. It was an ink that they released and that you ordered it and you did not know what the color was until it arrived on your doorstep. Uh, if you didn't have a chance to see that review that I did of that, uh, I thought it was a lot of fun to put together. I mean, how do you review something that you can't really show on camera? If you're curious to what I did, check it out. I think it would be, uh, you'd, you'd be slightly entertained there. But this is what the color is. And if you didn't have a chance to uh, take a look at it on social media, it is a really nice blue green. Uh, and if you did watch it, uh, then watch the review, then I did compare it to two other colors. One was the Monteverde Iced Cookie, and the other was uh, Pilot Orochizuku Kujaku, which uh, I think are fairly similar. Uh, the Kujaku has a little bit more green in it, but it's very similar to the Iced Cookie. Uh, this is the bottle that it came in. When they shipped it out, all of the bottles actually had these little masks on them. I didn't show that in the review because uh, when I received, well, I received the bottle with the mask on it, but they weren't quite sure if they were going to be shipping out all the bottles with the mask. So that's why I uh, didn't show it. But you take the mask off and there is the ink bottle. Uh, it is a very nice ink. It has been sold out, but uh, a lot of times whenever uh, Papier Plume comes out with their limited edition inks, they are very nice, uh, but then they do become sold out. So then they be kind of uh, become more of a, a hot commodity. Okay, getting back to the school kill, let's go ahead and do some more of the writing sample. Um, even though this is a fine nib, um, I find it to kind of be more on the medium side of fine. And it is a fairly firm nib. You're not going to get much, if any, line variation out of here. Um, I do find the ink flow is decent and is fairly wet. Uh, this ink is fairly wet to begin with. And in regard to reverse writing... It does a decent job. And in regard to some fast writing, the feed keeps up just fine. So there we have the Narwhal School Kill. Uh, if you're looking for a pen in that, you know, kind of $50 to $60 range, this is something definitely con to consider. Uh, it's well constructed. Uh, I like the fact it's a piston filler. I like the material that's on here. Uh, I also like the ink window and, uh, and its functionality. So there's a lot to like about this pen. Uh, don't forget that I am going to be giving this away. Uh, make sure to uh, follow all the instructions in regard to uh, get yourself entered to this because I think whoever ends up with this pen is going to very much enjoy it. Okay, until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later.